Libra, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So, as I'm filming this as of today, right? Your intimate tarot reading is out, so it's Wednesday that I'm filming this, right? And I just saw a comment uh, from the Libra Collective, somebody in the Libra Collective that says, this doesn't resonate with me, but also what are you talking about? Oh, honey, those are two opposing ideas. <laughs> they don't mix. Like, <laughs> they, they, okay, so yeah, no, it's really on you to determine if it resonates or not. Okay, so that is a good point. And you determined that it doesn't, but you also concluded you don't know what I'm talking about. So... I just don't know that you should be watching tarot. I just, Libra, you understand me? Like the general collective, you understand that, right? Like maybe we shouldn't be watching tarot, okay? I don't know. But it was like those those two thoughts with like oil and water, honey. They did not mix. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on, Libra, honey? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a little different, happy to be so. I have a sense of humor, I swear, and I also express strong opinions. If any of those things irritate you, this is probably not the channel for you. For those of you who do like my style, my efforts, my energy, okay, please do let me know. Like, share, maybe even subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who've been around, I appreciate you. We did really well this last month. You almost got a bonus love reading, but Aries kind of tipped those scales. No pun intended. But yeah, Aries kind of tipped the scales. What's going on, please? Show me that Libra energy, please. Show me that Libra energy. What's up? What's going on for Libra? This is the Lightseer uh, tarot deck. Show me what I need to see, please, for Libra. What's going on, honey? What's going on? What's going on for Libra, please? <clears throat> Excuse me. King of Wands, the Hierophant. Okay. Mm. Very strong for some of you. Strong sense of determination to higher levels of spirituality and or commitment. Or also, some of you might be dealing with Leo or Taurus. Uh, confirmation for some of you, not all of you. Sometimes I see the split, sometimes I don't. Any shared recent... Okay. Whew. Boom. Before I could even have a... A second. Before I could even have a second to think, honey. Yeah, yeah, we got some shared recent past here. Queen for queen energy, sex relevant tarot. That doesn't matter. Switch out the energies as you see fit. Um, so yeah, we have the queen of cups, two of cups, and you, queen of swords, looking upon all this. Lovely connection. Looks balanced, it looks fair. Let's keep it going, yeah? I normally don't take that many, but it was that was pretty damn direct. That was a pretty damn direct job, okay? It feels good. Somebody else's energy feels correct. Could literally be a water sign. Uh, Cancer, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do this all day, honey. Sometimes it just sort of runs together. Show me the current, please. Current, current. It felt good. It felt intertwined. Okay, we have two balanced energies here. Two cups in between you two. Show me the current shared, please. Show me the current shared. Show me the current shared. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well, I do not read the baseline in the downright. Okay, that's my preference as a tarot reader. That's my gig. Those are my rules. Okay, so we're going to do that again. But just to let you know, the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse. So if some of you don't feel so good in your homestead or your homestead feels shaky, particularly with the finances or stability or structure is concerned. That's for some of you, not all of you. You could be seeing your partner this way, and we don't know how to communicate it not very well. Um, can we get a better idea of what the current shared is? Show me, please. What else? Show me that. Okay. The fool. As to what we shall see. But taking a chance, taking a risk on new adventures. Could be you, your person, or the both of you. Trying to overcome basically something that was destructive or difficult. The tower underneath. Or could there should be a Scorpio underlying that point. It could be your person. Or if you have Scorpio in your chart, pay attention. So, the fool energy. Trying to recover from something that was difficult. Queen of Pentacles is also in reverse. Perhaps somebody is too much of a money spender. We don't know how to balance the bills. We don't know how to maintain the home. Something like that. But again, it could just have been something very disruptive and we're trying to get it back on track. Okay. Show me Libra's independent current energy, please. Show me Libra, okay, as a person. Temperance. You might have some Sag in your chart. That's very specific. You could be dealing with Sag. All right. But Temperance is showing something patient. So if you experience major disruption with your life person, it's trying to get back on track. Energetically speaking, we are trying to get your life back on track with the other person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To feel the sun again, to feel free once more in our energies, just to free up and do whatever the hell we want, whenever the hell we want. We don't have to be so careful. Something like that. There is a sense of careful, caution, monitoring the situation. Show me the other person, please. Show me the other person, please. Okay. Three of Pentacles. They're trying to make it work starting over. So it feels like your person has that starting over vibe. So if your person had a loss of work, they got new work starting over. Um, 
their energy is kind of low level at this time three of pentacles it's probably due to circumstance i'm guessing it feels like it's circumstantial all right three of pentacles they're trying to make several things work at one time they have to distribute their energies in multiple places, trying to make it work. Um, so we're trying to show temperance to the situation. Three of Pentacles, baseline knowledge. I feel like whatever it was that was disruptive, your person feels the obligation to start over, and it feels more like it's in the, the area of, of home, money, that kind of thing. Okay, show me the future, please. Show me the future energy of this connection. Okay. Oh, my. That's, that's, that, that, wow. The star and the lovers, holy hell. Trying to pull in a very strong connection from the universe. Where the f did that just come from? Both your air cousins, Aquarius and Gemini. That seed was planted a long time ago. Libra, what's going on, hey? What's going on? I see two people whose lives got disrupted. Yeah, that doesn't mean you completely bump track. What's going on? What's in front of the lovers, please? Is this someone else? Show me the lovers, please. What's in front of the lovers? What's in front of the lovers? What's in front of the lovers, please? Ah, two of wands. Decision. Decision. Uh, okay, you might have a decision between two people. Communication's picking up. What's the advice and interaction for Libra? Libra, honey, what's going on? This this feels so left field. It's so left field from where we started. This this opening made perfect sense to me. It felt correct. We had some disruption. We're trying to get over the disruption. What's the advice and interaction, please? And then boom. Here comes this magnificent energy that's just, what is this? Show me the advice and or action, please. Show me, how would you advise and or action? Three of swords. Wow. The advice and or action is three of swords. You might have a choice between two people, which means you have to choose. It will cause pain. No matter where you look in this situation, it's going to cause pain. We have some communication with somebody. What's the overall? Oh. We're trying to keep our heart space non-committal even as we balance up. Okay, we're trying to keep our heart space non-committal even as we balance up. Chariot card of cancer. Can I get a bit stronger sense of the overall, please? Overall cancer, I'm so, no. Some of you have cancer in your chart. Let me know if you have cancer in your chart. Your person might be a cancer. What's the overall? Ten of Pentacles, we are in a committed energy. Somebody's in a committed energy. It also could be communal space. Ten of Swords. Underline that. So there is a question mark here. of having to end something to be with someone else, quite possibly. It's a very powerful connection, too. Very. Looks like it was tailor-made from the universe. Wow. We shall see. Okay, no. We'll get to that. Yeah, this one. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Libra. Show what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Libra. Two queens and the two cups in between you two. It feels fair, balanced, soul bond. Four swords, recent past. You might have recently come back from vacation with your person, take a break, reprieve. Healing, healing with your person, healing with your person about what? Keeping an eye on the situation for healing how so? Healing how so? How, how, four sorts, how? Between these two people. Coldness. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Coldness. A strong decision to stay. 
for the Ten of Pentacles. A strong decision to stay for the Ten of Pentacles, trying to keep our feelings out of it. This is my strong decision. We've determined this between two people. Yes, there's love here, but critically speaking, reasoning, analytical, these skills is what overrode this decision. Yes, there's a shared two of cups between you two. There is. But somebody went, went within and decided in the past to stay. This was a strong decision on somebody's part and likely had to do with the foundation of the thing. Okay. It was just, it was, it was, it was, it was a two plus two kind of logic. Okay. Show me the fool, please. The Emperor. Yes, standing in our power. Very firm decision here. Um, some of you pushed off someone else. Could literally have been a Scorpio. Okay. We um, try to get hanged man perspective on why it is we still felt this this, this, what felt like a struggle, five of wands, it was a struggle, um, to have feelings for someone of the past, six of cups. It's not this person. Okay? It's not this person. This is someone else. This is your commitment energy. All right? That's what I'm saying. We made a strong determination to not be the fool. We wanted to. The louder we have to protest, the stronger the inclination actually is. But somebody was not a fool for someone of the past. Six of Cups. It caused too much internal conflict. Okay. Despite it being a very strong soul bond energy. Passion. The Six of Cups in this deck is unique. I'm supposed to show this to you. It's passion as well as love. But we know. It caused too much conflict. Okay. It caused too much conflict. We did not take a chance. We did not. We were not the fool. We continued in this disconnect. So you had a choice at some point on your timeline with another person, someone who represented that Six of Cups energy. And uh, you had to be forceful as the Emperor to kind of cut that inclination out. Okay. The Emperor very rarely acts the fool. But also him being there shows me how loud the protest was. So it was a very strong inclination. It could literally have been a Scorpio. Show me, please. Anything else about the fool? It was also the sense of intuition. This again could be that person. Heavy water energy. I don't. I don't care what my intuition is telling me. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't. I don't care what the intuition is telling me. I can't. It's also being quiet. So we're very strongly quiet about this. Queen of Cups energy. Water is all over this. Okay. Show me temperance. That's your independent energy. Show me temperance. Nine of Swords. There's so much anxiety here. You tried to, in time, in time, in time, and Nine of Wands underlying that. Oh my. The blockage. We don't want to think about it. We don't want to think about it. We don't want to think about it. In time, in time, it'll go away. The thoughts will go away. The blockage, it just, in time, I won't even have to think about it anymore. It will eventually go away by itself. Literally. Okay. The, 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 so you, you have a committed energy. Let's let's recap real quick, okay? Two, clearly two people here. There's a two cups in between you, this whole contract, okay? We had to make a strong determination quietly within through meditation and quiet contemplation that this is the contract we're going to honor. It's a cold, almost clinical decision, okay? And uh, that's because at some point, somebody's energy did come around that you did turn down forcefully turned down. Um, it caused you personal aggravation that it was there at all, but also is familiar. It's familiar soul energy, passion and love. Okay. Um, Nine of Swords, it, it, in time we'll get over it. In time we'll get over it. Okay. The anxiety will go away. It's just the frustration will go away. Some embarrassment. There's some embarrassment here. I don't know why, other than pride very strong sense of pride here. Okay. We tried to kill that fire. Queen of Wands in reverse. Kill the fire. And in time, again, in time. Dual card, that's you underneath the deck. In time, the passion will go away. The anger and the frustration will go away. Literally in time, the anxious thoughts will go away about this, you know, and it looks like a quiet determination. 
It does. Perhaps they exited this situation. Perhaps you did. I don't know. Perhaps you turned them down. Perhaps they exited. I don't know. You do. So it, how does it apply to you as it resonates? Yeah. So in time, we are convinced with patience this will all just go away. Okay, that sense of passion and fire and, and even the anger. Show me the three. Okay, three of pentacles, three of cups. Wanting to reconnect. Wanting to reconnect. That's for some of you, not all of you. For some of you, that full energy sometimes it picks back up to, to reconnect at three cups because it was a strong connection. But we already made a strong determination back here, a strong decision back here to keep the queen and queen energy going. Okay? Our foundation. Our person. Okay? Show me this three of pentacles. The other person? The moon. Your person, blockage, blockage, nine of wands to the tower, blocking the tower. We don't, we don't want the tower to fall down, or we're not ready for it to. You're, I, I don't know who this is. This is whomever this is to you. It could either be your committed core person, or the person that um, we refuse to engage with. Okay, we wanted to. We wanted to, but we did not. Okay. Um, the moon is over the three of pentacles. You, you see them as secretive? What do they know exactly? Okay. The world. You're thinking a great deal. I can't tell where the worry's coming from. You're overthinking somebody a lot. I know that you want it to stop, and you're convinced in time that this, this person who tried to kind of insert themselves into your life. I know you gave heavy contemplation of it, otherwise it would not be here. And the seriousness of it is it weighs on you with a certain level of gravity, yeah. You f I do feel like this is the person who tried to interject themselves. I do. I don't know that it was malicious. I just see that your reaction to it caused you severe conflict. Okay. And it was a Six of Cups, otherwise I don't think you would have entertained that energy. All right. Um, they have a strong personality, as death was attached to the Six of Cups. Um, you, there's something, you feel like your other person here, and I do believe this is the one that we turned away. Okay. Um, or would not engage in or something like that. Again, the emperor made a very loud protest, all right? That they know, they know a lot. I don't know this know too much. It doesn't, I don't know that it's that. They just seem to know a lot. And they act like they don't with that Three of Pentacles energy. They, they act like they don't, but they actually know a lot. Something like that. That moon energy, they take... They take their knowledge, they have a depth of knowledge that on the surface, that's not what they show, Three of Pentacles. They know a lot. They're a world ender. I already saw death attached to them. But what about it? Was it Ace of Pentacles? There's that question of the Ace of Pentacles, the offer, when this person interjected themselves into your life. Again, it's someone you know. It was a Six of Cups energy. Okay. They know something about an offer, and there's a part of you that's curious about whether or not it still stands. Is it over? Is it still open? You don't seem to know. You don't seem to know. 
you're convinced that they do. And it's kind of like, uh, I wonder if it meant that. It did. It did mean that. And for everyone who's listening to this, that makes perfect sense to you. It did mean exactly what you thought it meant. Um, but you don't... Did they really mean it? Yeah, they did. They did really mean it. It was in a secret... It, it might have been coming from a secret place, the moon energy. Did they end the offer? Is that offer still open? Something like that. I don't know. Is the offer still open? I don't know. You don't either, but you know that they know. Something like that. And they're not saying anymore? Especially if they ended the connection or you ended the connection. That's love between you two. Strong, strong bond. Mm. Very strong bond here. <clears throat> I know that. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Not all readings are the easiest, you know. So again, don't take offense to a reading that's not yours. It either applies to you or it doesn't. If it doesn't, check your the placements or I'll catch you on the next one. So don't take offense to a reading that isn't yours, because you're only putting misery on yourself. This is for those who need to hear it. That's why I'm here. All right? What's going on, please? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Libra. Show me what I need to see. Please do let me know if you are connecting with an Aquarius or a Gemini. We also have Aries here. I see a core person, someone that we are... Two cups contractual, two, two cups is the most basic emotional contract you can have with somebody. Okay, it is soul bond energy. And then there's someone else who represented the six of cups, which is... It's strong. Because there's the there's a sense of I had to repel it or push it away. Because it was it's too strong or something like that. Um, yeah, I just saw the world. I know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And it, it's looking concurrent with your committed timeline. So hence the conflict that I saw, the five of wands, okay. The star. What's the star here? Show me the star. Show me the star, please. Show me that Okay, five of pentacles. We are, uh, we are disconnected and it causes us anxiety. We don't care for it. We are disconnected from our hope and our wish and our long-term vision. We don't know what the hell we want. Something like that. Oh, did I just say we don't know what we want? Yeah, you do. You know exactly what you fucking want, honey. You're looking at it. Okay, it's right here. I'm sorry. I take that back. You are dis disconnected from what it is that you actually want. Okay. Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. It's blockage. Blockage. Okay. Queen of Wands. Blocked from our passion, our sense of determination, our strength, our pathway, our conviction. Um, we are literally disconnected from what we want in terms of our long-term vision of life goals and pathways. You know, the far-reaching sight. Now I see myself five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. We're literally looking at what we want and we don't have it. That's, that's the star. That's what you want to pull in from the universe. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, they feel this way about you. Reverse energies as it applies. Show me the lovers, please. Show me the lovers. We, we do nothing for swords. We try to heal from it. We watch. There's this sense of maybe one day timing will be right. Um, can I get a stronger sense of the lovers, please? Can I get a stronger sense of the lovers, please? But four swords in this context is doing nothing. Not yet. The lovers is here twice. They want to work with you, but they admit they don't know how. Okay? Or it's you. The lovers is here twice, you both recognize it. It's um it's a very strong very fucking strong. Okay, so lovers are the lovers. Um 
they want to work with you. They just don't know how. Somebody's terrified to lose a fight. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know what that means. You do. If it applies to you, it applies to you. Somebody's terrified to lose a fight. Uh, particularly where their Ten of Cups is concerned. Even though they don't feel good in the connection and they haven't in a long time. Okay. <clears throat> they want to work with you. They just don't know how. Okay, but it's... The lovers is no easy thing. As I'm sure you've heard me say, it's the emotional bond, it's the spiritual bond, it's the mental bond, it's the sexual bond, it's all those. They want to work with you, they just don't know how. Or you want to work with them. Queen of Swords is not here twice. You want to work with them. We're trying to heal, we're trying to find a way to work with each other, we're trying to work with each other. But over here we are blocked from what it is that we want. Or it feels that way. Energetically speaking, you two want very much desire. Very much desire. Okay. To find a way to work with each other. In the real world. The Eight of Pentacles is the real world. Okay. So, not just energetically speaking. How can we work together now? I don't know. Two of Wands. Let's see if we can figure it out. Show me the Two of Wands, please. We have to manifest, of course. And that occurs through um, communication, expressing our fears, communication and action. Okay? In a way that's, again, in the real world. It's not just energetic. It's the real world value with the King of Pentacles here. We have to openly manifest, that means openly talk, and open, openly communicate, openly take action. That's what manifestation is. It's not just keeping a wish deep down in your heart. That helps, don't get me wrong. But it's also that thing of, if I want it, I have to achieve it. That's what manifestation is. Okay. Right here we're blocked because we're in denial about what it is that we truly want from the universe. So we don't know how to ask the universe for this person, this pathway, this life. And again, it's the long-term vision, where you see yourself 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Um, so we have to manifest, we have to use our intuition as well. About what to do, when to do it. Very strong. Communicate, communicate. Again, Eight of Wands, Wand is fire, fire lives in the here now. Communicate and take action. Communicate and take action. That's, that's what you two can do, then do it. Some of those three swords, but you're going to have to assume, and this is your advice, you're going to have to assume heartbreak, you're going to have to assume pain. Somebody will get hurt in this equation if they do not choose, if they do not act. Somebody will get hurt. There is the anticipation of a new investment in love. There is. It's writing off the back of an ending. Or pain. So yeah, I'm seeing a Libra who has a choice of two people. The one that they opened with saying, reasonably concluding, logically concluding, this is the person I'm supposed to be with. It's my two of cups. My emotional contract my contractual person versus the one we would have rejected or we turned away fiercely. Okay, energetically speaking. We wonder if the offer still stands. It does. They just keep quiet about it. Okay. You two may not be in contact, but that will change. Okay. Uh, I do believe, I have every reason to believe you two are going to learn how to work with each other, to communicate and act. That will open up a stronger sense of pathway in your manifestation about what to do and how to do it. But your advice and action is pretty straightforward. Three swords. Um, you're going to have to assume some heartbreak. If you want this person from the universe versus the one that you are contractually tied to. Okay. 
you have a Ten of Pentacles here as your overall energy. Again, committed energy. Show me that Ten of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ten of Pentacles, please. We're not in a position where we're ready to change things yet. Page of Swords is too much too small. The Tower is underlying that. We know it's there. Again, while your action advice stands as the Three of Swords, you're going to have to assume heartbreak. You know this, but you're not prepared to act on it yet. Okay. Um, is this a true bond connection? Is this a true pair situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does that make your job any easier? No. Again, you know, yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's the neutralization. It's the 10 positive and the 10 negative, they neutralize each other. You're in a position of watching this. In other words, not doing anything yet. You're just not in that place. But that will change. Intellectually, intellectually, Libra. Okay? Real talk. Intellectually, you chose someone. Spiritually, you want this person. You two were well fitted in ways neither one of you will really comprehend until you're in it. I see it. A firmness. I do. I see a firmness in you both to learn how to work with each other, not necessarily third party. Not even with that three swords there. It's somehow your energies are having to learn to work with each other or compromise with each other. And the more you do, the stronger the manifestation gets. We were blocked from this vision, and that vision's going to become more clear. Okay. Because your person wants to work with you, they just don't know how. Especially if you're silent with the Four Swords. Okay. But your overall is that you do know. You're not stupid, honey. I know you're not stupid. You know that commitment will have to end, but we're not in a position to act on it yet. It's a knowledge we're not prepared to enact upon. Your advice and your action is literally to understand that there will be heartbreak involved for somebody in order to pursue this, literally this new love. Okay. I feel which way you're going. I do. Because the longing is here too. Um... It's the person who represents water. Very strong sense of intuition here. You have a working knowledge, bare minimum, of this person. Three of Pentacles. Bare minimum. But the energy just might be multi-directional as well. They do several things, something like that. But more to the point, given their clarification energy, which is very substantial. This person on the surface looks pretty uncomplicated. Red means go. I mean, I'm sorry, red means stop. Green means go. Right? The stoplight. On the surface, they don't look complicated at all. They look really straightforward. But on the inside, they're a plethora of information, of hidden knowledge, deep feelings. At least that's how you interpret them. And there's something to do with that Ace of Pentacles. I wonder if it still stands. Does it still have any relevance or meaning or something like that? The answer is yes. You know, just because they have a world attached to them doesn't mean the offer isn't there or that it was disingenuous. I promise you. The energy you two exude for each other, that offer's still there. You just don't know it. Like I said, I saw a technical ending for you two. I saw a technical ending for you, too. Technical, as in what's happening on planet Earth. Energetically speaking, no. You're nowhere fucking near done. Okay. I don't think that helps you, but I am looking at a Libra who is conscious of a decision. So there's that. Okay. Gotta wrap this one up, baby. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. 
some of you wonder if you have a right to wish for something this big. Yeah. You do. Life partner doesn't mean life convenience. So biggest challenges means we have to earn them and work for them and strive for them. There's nothing about this that looks easy. I just know that your person wants to try to work with you. Okay, that's all I know. As to this situation, only you best know if it continues to serve you or doesn't. Anything? Yes, you are worthy. You are very close to achieving your goal. So that tells me the timing is sooner rather than later. Okay. Your hard work is paying off. Okay. New moon in Capricorn. You might have some Capricorn in your chart. A fiery climax approaches. Lots of new and full moon concepts here. Perhaps you associate your person with the moon. You and your loved ones are safe. Card of Cancer, Aries, everybody, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, heavy Gemini, but that's mostly just the lover's energy I'm seeing here. And then uh, we also have Aries, everybody here, everybody's here, honey. Everybody's here. And then I also did see uh, Scorpio Pisces. Oh. There is a sense of something is coming to light. I do believe, if anything, it's a stronger determination to manifest or work with each other's energy. Um, it could be that this person is reintroducing themselves into your life as well. With that's the world here and the cycle, especially since I saw death attached to the Six of Cups earlier, there's a good chance that this person is cycling in again instead of cycling out. Um, so in other words, re-entry. Okay. Uh, I don't know that it's malicious, but if you understand this person to be an asshole, then there you go. Then they're an asshole. And again, you have free will. Okay? So there you go. Uh, they could be cycling back in. All right? But, uh, yeah, there you go. Pit. <laughs> okay. Comment as you see fit, Libra. I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.